Although there are over 1.4 million Ugandans living with HIV stroke AIDS, with about 50,000 new infections recorded every year, Uganda AIDS Commission has acknowledged that the country has made significant progress in the fight against HIV and AIDS by bringing down HIV prevalence from 18% in the 80s to 5.2%. New infections have reduced to 52,000 annually from 94,000 and AIDS-related deaths have reduced to 17,000 annually. According to the country estimates and projections of May 2023, Uganda recorded a decline in new HIV infections from 54,000 to 52,000 in a period of 2021 to 2022, which translates into a decline of about 4%. The Director General of Uganda AIDS Commission, Dr. Nelson Musoba, has said that education is one of the factors that has aided the reduction in number of HIV cases, especially among children in the country. There are still issues there in schools around stigma and discrimination from fellow learners, from teachers, but the general message is that let's have our young ones in school. In addition to equipping them with skills that will help them to protect them in other areas, but you're giving them skills to protect themselves from HIV, negotiation skills, you're cushioning them you know, from issues in the environment. So school is a protective factor. You also mentioned that the commission has noted a remarkable increase in the number of patients enrolled for ART treatment that suppresses retrovirus which causes AIDS, saying it is a great step forward in ending the disease. First of all, when we did the modeling estimates of December 2022, we had 1.4 33 million people living with HIV. And by June, 1.4 million of these had been enrolled. That is a significant achievement. Because one of the ways we can prevent transmission of new infections is to ensure that if we're to get all HIV positive people and we put them on treatment, treatment is prevention. If you take your medication well, you'll suppress the virus. Dr. Msoba, together with partner organizations, urged Ugandans to desist from promoting stigma or discriminating people living with HIV stroke AIDS. There is no need to be ashamed of having HIV. It's not that you did anything wrong, like babies who were born with HIV. What wrong did they do? You cannot expect a young person living with HIV to come out and lead when they actually expect to be discriminated against to be isolated in the communities that they thrive in. Then there's external stigma and actual discrimination, where you know people are actually saying, ah, this one, put them on the side, they shouldn't touch my cup, and that, we can defeat that through education. The executive director of Uganda Network of Young People Living with HIV Stroke AIDS, Ruth Awori, described the violation of the rights of the people living with HIV and gave a few suggestions on how to fight this challenge. The most important one is to ensure sustainability, and that is through increasing domestic, resource finan domestic financing of the response. <laughs> Secondly, we need to be really intentional on meaningfully engaging the communities of people living with HIV. Then also we need to operationalize the good laws, like the recently lodged policy on ending stigma and discrimination. This year's celebration of World AIDS Day will be held in Rakai District in Chivale Town Council under the theme, ending HIV stroke AIDS with communities in the lead, and President Yori Kaguta Museveni is expected to officiate at the event.